This is uh, Seaforth uh, Physio and Sports Injury Clinic, uh, just up the road at Seaforth. Um, actually, my physio, which is like 15, 20 years ago, or how old is it is. Um, so I know they've been there, but their, her, uh, Robbie's challenge was awareness. There's a lot of competing markets, players in this market, and it's hard to get cut through. So Robbie's challenge was, how do I build awareness, or how do I get more people visiting her, her clinic? Hey everyone, hope you're well. My name is Ian Chakravarti and we're representing Seaforth Physio. Team members include Nick, Liam, Luca and Jasper. I hope this presentation gives you a better understanding of the business and the current problems this business is facing. Over the past nine weeks, we have worked to create solutions to these problems to ensure Seaforth Physio is not only one of the best physios in the Shire, but one of the best physios in the nation. <laughs> Thanks, Arjun. Seaforth Physio is a local physiotherapy business that composes of 10 employees that have been involved and contributing to the local community for three decades. Their physio provides a variety of services, including physiotherapy, exercise classes, home visits, athlete screening, and re remedial massages. The problem that we were given is that we need to increase the number of initial fresh inquiries via the website and social media, instead of relying on word of mouth. Thanks, Liam. Our goal was to get to the root of the problem, which meant stripping back the layers. The problem that Seaforth Physio had was that they were not getting enough first-time customers, and they were not getting enough for customers who had come from their website and or advertising. Uh, we found that the problem presented to us was not the real problem regarding Seaforth Physio, so we wanted to dig deeper. Our initial thought was that we needed to better understand the brain narrative and then look to expand the advertising through various channels like social media. We started with research first and figured that they need to create a more emotional, social and functional connection through their logo, text and website. We created a brand proposition Uh, to compare C4 Physio with its competitors. We researched the five most popular physiotherapies, including C4 on Google, and analyzed their website, including the colors, text, and feel of the website and logo. We put our research into four categories. Categories included the visual appearance and how they connect on a functional, social, and emotional level. We researched the five physios and as a team, put them into the brand proposition. Thanks, Nick. So what have we learned so far? The three problems we've uncovered is, one, this business is not expanding their marketing and advertising channels. Currently, 50% of their new customers come from word of mouth. And although this isn't a bad thing, if this business is willing to create a marketing budget and advertise on platforms like Facebook, the number of new inquiries will be significantly enhanced, resulting in more recurring customers. Two, this business does not evoke an emotional feeling through their overall brand identity. What I mean is, for example, Qantas, the spirit of Australia. When you think of Qantas, you instantly think of luxury and great service. Now think of Jetstar. I don't even know its slogan. Jetstar, like Seaforth Physio, fail to evoke an emotional feeling through their brand identity and thus they don't differentiate themselves from their competitors and attract their target demographic. Our goal is to make Seaforth Physio the Qantas of the physio game by ensuring their brand identity evokes an emotional feeling. The third problem is that Seaforth Physio has a large variety of services they provide, although they don't advertise these services. If you didn't know, Seaforth Physio has a large variety of services. What we need to do is ensure these, they advertise these services so they stand out from their competition. If we can truly highlight and expose these services, people from Blacktown will come out of their way to be served at C4 Physio. How do I follow that? Thank you, Arjun. Um, we've identified the existing brand ID and proposition and how it only responds to the functional aspect of the business. 
For the brand to expand, it needs to revisit its brand ID so that it responds to the social and emotional aspects of the business. Once this is achieved, we can begin marketing and advertising, in which we can utilise Facebook ads and Instagram as well to widen their online presence and therefore draw in more customers. Thank you, Jasper. Um, I'll be talking about a, potent, a possible future involvement in implementing our solution to the problem presented to us by Seaforce Physio. To do this, we, would, we could partake in extensive research into the current brand proposition and create a new brand ID and concept to reach and connect with potential customers on an emotional and social level, not just through functional business aspects. Through this further research, we could develop specific recommendations for advertising and marketing strategies on social media and the company's website to increase business awareness and attract new customers. Finally, the implementation of our solution for their community and business awareness problem would enhance the overall clarity of their brand concept and proposition, effectively increasing new client inquiries through social media platforms and internet searches, as opposed to mainly word of mouth. Now this program has taught us a whole new range of skills, which includes teamwork while utilising a structure to solve the business's problem, research to analyse the business and their competitors, and especially the importance of expanding and diversifying the business. And finally, what makes a good website, and as well as the key elements involved into capturing the community's involvement. To conclude, on behalf of everyone on the C4 Physio team, we'd like to thank you. Firstly, we'd like to thank all the parents, the deputies and staff that took time out of their day to watch us present. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we'd like to thank... Secondly, we'd like to thank Mr. Maguire and Seven Mile for creating this program and organising it and ensuring it ran smoothly for the past nine weeks. Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank all the business mentors for, for, for ensuring that this program ran extremely smoothly and guiding us through the program to ensuring we nailed the PowerPoint. And C4 Physio would especially like to thank our mentor, Nigel. Thanks, Nigel, and all the business mentors. <laughs> and finally, we'd like to thank all the business owners for letting us know what life is really like to run a business. And C4 Physio would like to especially thank our business owner, Robbie, for letting us know the ins and outs of her business and ensuring she took all of our feedback on board. So thanks, Robin, all the business owners. I think I'm going to have to steal your word, Harry. Wow, wow. Guys, I'm super impressed, um, not just with that presentation, which was truly fabulous, but also throughout the process. I came with a very big problem, um, one I was aware of, one that I've dug my heels in and sort of avoided, and you guys really brought to the fore how we need to deal with this. Um, I'm of an age group where social media is a bit frightening and you came with some great, great recommendations. I'm looking forward to chatting to you more about where we can go with this um, and look forward to maybe you being involved. Um, along the way, you were really collaborative together. You communicated well with me, you had some fabulous questions. I felt like you really got to understand what we do. Um, I'm a specialist in physio, I, I'm not so good at all this obviously, and, that, and you've really, really made me think about how we can move forward. Um, and some big ideas, and wow, we're going to take on the world. Um, but I also want to thank uh, the team from Seventh Mile Venture, uh, Greg, Nigel, Mitch and Rob, uh, particularly Nigel. Um, somebody commented to me earlier this morning that uh, the boys learn and get a lot out of this. And I want to say, as a business owner, I've got a lot out of it too. I'm actually really en enjoyed it and I'm really glad I took part in it. I definitely have learned a lot. So thanks also to the Department of Education. I think it's a fantastic, fantastic opportunity. I have three sons and to think that they could be involved in something like this and knowing what it really is like out in the big wide world and here are some problems, learn how to solve them, I think it's really good. And also to Bally Boys for allowing it to be run here. So thank you so much and let's chat. <laughs>